Hello everybody, welcome back to another gameplay of The Walking Dead. Keep your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. <laughs> hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. This one might still be salvageable. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. I already know what I gotta do. It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. We're not gonna look at that just soon. Just now. I mean, right now. Why they don't make things that is supposed to taste like? If you don't know what I'm saying, why they don't make the drinks like? Well, you get the pack, you put it in the water, it don't taste like the drink that you drink it. It tastes like shit. Great, needs a quarter to work. Yo, 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 you, you can't help us off of this bitch. My back hurt. My butt hurt. I can't feel my legs. Can't feel nothing. Do something like this. Yo, yo, blood. I know you can help the fan in my chest. Got the kuta, the kuta, the tota. Oh, 
fuck? What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, or someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Docks, no boats. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. No sign of any boats down there. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. I press A. That's on bull. No! Clem? Please don't hurt him. from Crawford. Shh. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, don't! Hey. No, he's with us! Here. Let's get the fuck out of here. You, Let's get the fuck out of here. Hurry up and shut the fuck. I ask you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? 
Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. All the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. That's not how our group does things. You're not saying they actually... I mean, I mean kids? No, the children, they just forced to leave, along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. Why? Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. Dee, dee, dee. Dee. So who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here. Find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. Be, be, be. If there was, you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. Yeah. This whole place Look me in my me. eyes. Tell me have you ever won this and one more I'm killing. Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Okay, okay. They don't have the houses. They have houses. They have the fences. Since the you're not getting on a new boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Yo, yo, good. They got some eating people over here. Let's go eat these niggas over here, man. I'm a hungry as fuck. Yo, let's get these niggas. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Hey, you just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here, please. <laughs> Come on, make it fast. Get your ass out of there! Can't get it all 
Here, use that to pry it open. Okay? I'll meet you there. Shit. Built solid. Glad I didn't slip this time. Got shit all over my pants or something like that. I'm out here and not in there. Mm, seems loose. Shit. Touching that. Last thing I need is some god awful disease.
must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Well, I'll teach up. Then no better. Fallout shelters. Wonder if someone's living down here. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. Shut what your you fat, ugly to self up. him in the head. Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. Like You're man, really like not from Crawford? Yes. No, I'm really not. Well, uh, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. 
Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Thanks. I think I can figure out my own way back. Vern, you're not just gonna let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guide. You're not gonna be able to get out of here on your own, but we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Alright, when Bree die, I'm gonna be so damn happy. Ugly Down syndrome look at just ugly. She don't have Down syndrome, she's just ugly. These other people are cool, she just ugly. If I had the chance, I would just shoot her dead on the spot. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll, I'll see, see what, what I can, I can do. do. Take, take me, me to him. him. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All My right, name let's take a look My at name it. is G. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. You ain't gotta be rude, nigga. Because it say, oh, excuse me. I would like to check on him by myself. Can you please Clementine. leave the room? Clementine? I already know what Clementine meant. Clementine, you here? Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since... Kenny, come on, give me that. Kenny, give me the damn bottle. Get the fuck away from me. Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked. I didn't touch nobody, booty. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us. That crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink?
Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know where she is. I think she's with that girl who brought her back. Molly? She said something about checking upstairs for supplies. They're not going upstairs. Clementine, you here? They're going outside. Clementine? Clementine! Clementine? 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 Where are you? Clementine? 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 The door's covered in blood. I don't think anyone came in through there. Door's covered in blood. I don't think anyone came in through there. Krista, how you holding up? I'm okay. Vernon did what he could for Omid, but he's got a real infection and he's running a hell of a fever. I'm worried if we don't get some real medicine in him soon. Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news, or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because, from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. What being a me? Actually. 
I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep the supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what gonna be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. No one else is gonna die, I promise. You can't promise that. No, I guess I can't. Sorry. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Clementine, I, I think it'd be safer for you to stay here with Omid. But what if something happens to him while you're gone? What do you mean? He's sick. If he doesn't get better and, you know, he might try to hurt me. Can't I come with you? Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. What the fuck? Nah. I can't wait until Bree dies. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? 
If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. They like pinking me the head. Shit. <laughs> this should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. We're climbing up the ladder. Climbing up the ladder. Climbing up the ladder. Now I see zombies. Let's go. We're climbing up the ladder. Climbing up the ladder. Climbing up the ladder. They got zombies. This everybody. There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one. Over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. Nobody just said got it. There's no other choice. Right behind you. What's up, cuz? Ah, I want your brain, boy. Yo, guys, I need some legs. Oh, so, oh, oh, I can feel mine. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! We're gonna get y'all, niggas. We're gonna get y'all. Don't run from us. here I thought this place was supposed to be secure what always happens I guess in the end the dead always win oh man we are so screwed no this is good Vernon's right we can deal with walkers easier than armed guards I agree so long as we don't let them box us in we can still do this the plan hasn't changed the plan hasn't changed every time walkers show up the plan changes do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Yeah, you Come like on. I think I know which way to head. Bitch. I got a bad feeling about this. Yo, let us out. We need some food. I'm hungry, man. My stomach hurt. My stomach touching my back. I need some food. Badly. If you don't give enough food, I'm gonna kill you. Moving. Don't listen to this bitch. Open the door. Open the door, man. Here. <laughs> Looks okay. Everybody in. Everybody in. Don't come out. Everybody in. Don't come out. Everybody in. Don't come out. Everybody in. Who the hell is E. Brian?
figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. It can Herman. It can mess up. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. Let's get the fuck out of here. Put it back on the buttons like this. Money, money, video, get in it. Flip a text and I'm waiting to creatine in the net. She ain't mad, she ignorant. I put a turn up and I'm the shit, man. Uh, I'm still getting flip attacks. Uh, if you beat me, I'm whooping ass. Money on my mind, trying to get the funny bag. The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? She in love with a nigga like me. Putting on V's and I'm feeling iced tea. She give me heads and I now got the feet. She love my dick, so I give it real deep. Damn, TT ten money on my. I feel like them. Hold on, Hendrick, niggas like niggas. But man, this must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? She in love with a beast like me. Shoot free throws. I ain't no five e. Uh, I'm too cool. Ice tea. Uh, Bobby, money on me. Here? Still Jetson, that's in. Everybody know that I'm testing less than. Pull Still up with a stick, you festin'. Got a new girl, what you guessing? Uh, nah, it this. Money on me, I'm righteous. I'm the guy, the savior. Money favor, tell a nigga that I know that is the pavior. You can hate on me or see me better. I don't know the weather. I'm calling it like I need the ketta. I'm calling it like I need Cheta. She bustin', we lovin'. She's nothing to me, bro. I pull up, life you full, you can find me, like Nemo, iced tea, lemon, squeeze, tight me, fill on me, feeling like I got two G's, she love me, I like iced tea, swag, uh, she me ass, uh, money not the past, uh, grass, uh. Damn, it's jammed tight. I'm feeling too vague, I mean faded, money on me, and I never even made it. Touch down the block with face it, AK-47 play your brain like lace it. I mean latex, money my own final home like face that. You ain't seen nothing today yet. She wanna get it like me, man.
Leave him. He's mine. Nice to see you. Molly? Think it's Molly. What? I think you got it. One more. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Okay, so he's anger issues. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. Yo, cuz, stay over here, bud. Yeah, give us your nigga. Come here, nigga. We ain't scared of y'all. Y'all better be scared of us. We ain't scared of y'all. Y'all better be scared of us. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come we, on. We're almost there. Oh, we in, boy. Yo, 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 blood is mine. Them braids is mine, boy. Them braids is mine, boy. Man, they left us. They dipped. Psst. We're gonna Take find them. Take a look around. Niggas. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. No power. No power. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Man, you gonna get wet. That's all I'm gonna <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha jokes. I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. It's still attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals. Hold on, man. Off. Got that one off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Yo, yo, you thought we was to go get you, nigga? Move your ass! Yo, oh, what's that, nigga? Come here, boy! Come here, boy! I'm gonna get you. Skyline. It's shot! Shoot it out! Oh! 
We're gonna get y'all boys. Stop complaining. Come on. It's not complaining. It's called it judgment. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. I don't know, man. Even if I fell, I was just going to have a minor scratch. I wasn't going to die. And for number Come one, on. it do not Wait. snow in Atlanta. Something I got to do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Baby, my mate. She won't let me see my son. But you, what I'm, I'm a pop a gun, put some in on 101. They can't find the sun. Got it around, 50 round, 100 round, yeah, but it's really true. How do you pray like a nun? I ain't never been an actor. I just don't know what they You guys say. need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking Hello. care of it, Lee. Don't worry. I'm gonna smoke your ass like a cat, the, the mayor, what you call me, master. I'm gonna go out there with some work, you can understand it. She couldn't even understand me. I want to tell the chat the family, so I'll be eighth, so I'll be the guy who ran this yeah, place. Yeah. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Yo, yo, I know I know. I told you last time to come help us open this door, man. Help us, please. I want to get out of my hungry. No, don't leave. My back touching my stomach. My stomach touching my back. Little help! Little help! each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. You get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. I'm not talking to nobody. I don't want to talk to Bree. Bree looks like she retarded. Yeah, I told you last time. Come on, man. Can you open the door? My back touching my stomach. My stomach touching my back, man. I'm hunger. Open the door. I'm gonna get you niggas. Uh, I'm gonna get you niggas. Ah. Shit. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Headshots only, nigga. Do the call it call of duty. She a battle of bear. I'm finna fill her booty. Money on me, richer than a bitch. 
We can talk to you. Hey, stay with us, stick you know. They wandered into the hallway after yeah, we got I'm inside. Lit. I think they must have heard us MLD. rooting around in here. MLD. The whole place is infested. MLD. They're everywhere. Murder Calm demon. Down. That's what I stand for, you demons. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Korea. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? No tape inside. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak, 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. I can't do it! Oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, Nigga, what's ridiculous? Stop asking that question. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Let me find another. I can find another tape. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Let's hurry up and get this part over with. Because I want to be done with this whole, this whole game. I told you last time, our backs touching our stomachs, man. We're hungry.
Yo, he looked like he was so addicted to TV. My stomach's still touching my back over here, man. Two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> that joke is easy to. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Yes, you Doctor, do. I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Gundam style. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> what happened? To Looks like the sick system these bastards cooked up to protect themselves wound up destroying them. Can't say I'll shed too many tears over it. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. I can't take too long. That felt good, huh, Marley? Listen, as fun as it was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Mm. Looks like we found Molly's sex oh, tape. Shit.
Ace, Ginger, Cola. That 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 that's not even a cold drink. Bro, you can still help us. Come on, man. I know you got us, Lee. Lee. Jesus Christ. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What'd you put it in your eyes? What the hell? What's that? Nothing. You lied to me. What? You said you'd never been here before, but that wasn't the truth, was it? What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. You were having an affair with that doctor. I didn't lie. I asked you how you knew about Crawford. You said you just heard stories. I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. I told you niggas we're gonna get y'all niggas. Y'all didn't listen. You didn't understand. Who's gonna get y'all? It's always us, not them. It's always us, not them. We'll get y'all niggas. Y'all better have a while. Oh, Jesus! Man. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. I told y'all niggas we was gonna get y'all. Yeah, listen. This damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben. We don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Uh, 
Panther? Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Gotta focus on getting out of here. You little piss head! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't we get a second? Yes. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uptown. Now can we go? Uptown. Vernon, come on. Let's go. See, I Bill wanted her to die. She should have been died. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Nah, nah. Y'all want Y'all might want to turn back around, nigga. Y'all want not gonna hold. Yeah, I guys want to turn back around. Lee, look. First time dying. Wait, hey, how you got shot in the jaw if she's oh wait. Let me not ask about these physics. Down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? 
Never mind. I can see the sewer when we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Come on, let's go! Kill it, man. Not yet. Mister? Everything okay? Oh, me! Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. Dang, it got serious. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. 
If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries, tries to get to between get me and her, anyone, point. is gonna wind up, up dead. dead. You, you hear, hear me? me? Take your no hands off of me. I'm old just like your mama, but your mama ain't old. She's dead. <laughs> Nigga, you gotta walk down two two stairs. I mean, one stair at the time. Do 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 do. Like, why you just don't do 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 do? Not dumb. Sound like that song. Can I take you home, girl? Going somewhere? Get you all alone, girl. Yeah, I'm about to head out. I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. So that's it? After all we've been through, you, you're you just gonna leave? Yeah. I figured you don't owe me anything. I got what I wanted in Crawford. And I never did like the water. Where will you go? I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. What do you want me to tell the others? Tell them whatever you want. I'm not real big on goodbyes. Tell Clementine she's going to be okay. You've got a good one there. She reminds me of me. You better give me a kiss before you leave. That's all I'm saying, Molly. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, Will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. See the diamond in the flesh. I crack my teeth on wedding rings in the movie. And I'm not part of my address. In the locked up town, we don't talk for any. But every song's like this from Guns Days, which is in the right song. See, Tony, on the right scene, we don't care. Clementine? We drive Cadillacs in our dreams, whatever it sounds like. I don't We don't care. We not caught in your love with Chad. And we'll never be royal. If you want another love, this kind of love just ain't for us. The okay, cave this is kind of trust. Can it be a Clementine! Clementine! And we could call me Queen B and baby I Let me live that fantasy.
No. 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 Fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. He said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clementine's my responsibility. Can't ask any of you to risk your lives over this. This is something I have to do alone. We're all responsible for Clementine, and in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Lee, man. You know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man, and I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kenny, you know what Clementine means to me. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell, in the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Katja and Duck when it mattered most, I guess. All right, I'm in. Look, if I was a death for you. Now hold on a damn minute. I'm not going if this little shitbird is too. Lee, you want to bring Clementine back alive, you'll leave him behind. He fucks up everything he touches. Ben, I'm sorry, but I need Kenny on this. Maybe you should stay with the boat. Okay, sure. Just don't fucking lay a finger on it, you hear? Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. Are we okay just leaving the boat like this, with only Ben to look after it? What choice do we have? If anything has happened to that boat when I get back, I will fucking bury you in that backyard. Are we clear? Hurry up, I'm trying to get this game played over with. The final season. The final everything. It's gonna be done. It's not the final season, but you know what I mean. Hands up, everybody! FBI, open up! Are they gone? Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Yo, yo, bro, bro, we got fluid up in here. I hear them niggas. They yelling and shit. Are, are you all 
right. Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Took a beat, yo. Let's see the five. No left time. No time left. What's the episode right there?